Alright guys, welcome on to AFC Game by Game. And first of all, just let me apologise before making this video of why I didn't do my review last night. I did get in very late from the game. Uh, it's understandable, I just wanted to go to bed. But I'm doing my review now. This is the Arsenal versus Napoli review. What a great performance. That was from Arsenal last night. We, I can't put into words quite how well we played. I haven't seen a performance at the Emirates that good in a while. We played some tick attack of football. We looked like the Arsenal team of 2003 04. I'm not saying we're invincible yet, but we look it. Uh, I'm not saying we are going to go unbeaten for the rest of the season, but we look like we could. Um, obviously, it's early. Obviously, it's early days. I mean, if anything could happen in the next couple of months, we could hit a loss and then obviously we're back on the bumpy road. But of course, playing excellent football at the moment, we've got to savour it. And of course, uh, great game last night. A um, couple of significant changes for this game. Tom Suzuki coming in for Serge Nabry. And then, of course, Mikel Arteta coming in for Jack Wilshere. Great moves by Wenger, bringing in two experienced players with two fairly young players. And they both played extremely well. Rosicki maybe could have had a better game. He was uh, giving the ball away quite a lot. I mean, there were times when he literally passed the ball to a Napoli player. Um, but I'm sure he, he has just come back from injury. I'm sure in a couple of weeks' time, he will be back at his best, producing amazing performances. Uh, he's a great player. I'm just glad Rosicki's back at the team. He's such a good player and he's such a class addition in that squad. Um, but we played so well last night. The likes of uh, Flamini, Ozil, Ramsey orchestrating the midfield. Um, and every game now looks like we can win it. It looks like we will win it, in fact. Uh, and a goal did come. Eighth minute, Mazza Ozil. And what a goal it was. Great work down the right-hand side by Aaron Ramsey. who has got himself an assist. Didn't get a goal, but an assist is as good as... Uh, he provided the ball for Ozil, and this was a really hard goal to take, but what a goal it was. Ball was coming in at pace, bouncing along the floor, and Ozil took it really well with his left foot. Scorcher into the back of the net, past Pepe Reina. Absolute beauty of a goal. I'm glad he scored that goal, because I wouldn't have wanted him to score in a League Cup game. For him to get his first goal in this game is massive. It's a massive game for us, a must win, and he's gone and got a great goal for us. So, hats off to Mirza Ozil, and then a bit later on for that, he got himself an assist. Um, it was great work by, uh, down the right-hand side by him darting. Well, I think it all originated from a Napoli era, but does it really matter? Um, great work by him down the right, crossing into Giroud. I'm glad Giroud's got a goal as well because he hasn't scored in a couple of games. And this was, okay, it looked like a tap-in, but to be fair, he, he was plagued by defenders at the time. Got in the back of the net, and you can tell that goal means a lot to him. I'm hoping he'll start scoring goals a lot more often. Uh, not that he's not scoring them often now, of course. I mean... It's great to have him scoring week in, week out, but of course he did have that little blip where he, uh, I don't know, it's only two or three games, I, won't want, I don't want to dwell on that because of course uh, he, he is a great striker, he's proven to be a great player for us at the moment, as is every player in our squad, uh, every player is playing so well, but I thought in that first half we could have scored three, four, five, uh, we did look a bit, little bit like um, we, we wasted a couple of chances up front, but if someone had said to me before the game, you're going to beat Napoli 2-0. I would have taken it like that. We just played so well. It's first half was such slick, quick, precise football. And we haven't played like that in a while. We, we saw glimpses of it earlier in the season. But this is the first game where I feel we've really expressed ourselves. And just think when we've got Kazola, Podolski, Chamberlain back. Wilshere uh, didn't even start the game. I was like, Walcott is still to come back. It, it's, you can't, it's hard to put into words quite... How much of a force we're going to be. I do still think we lack a little bit in some areas. Maybe up top and in defence. But still, this team is looking immaculate at the moment. Second half, uh, maybe last night. We didn't play the best football. Saw out a game, but that's not a problem. 2-0 at home. A uh, game we needed to win. Routine victory, arguably. We've done it. Uh, everyone played well. Flamini, unsung hero yet again. Defensive duties are phenomenal from this bloke. Uh... He had to keep Hamshik at bay uh, when Mertens came on. It was the same with him. And if he makes a mistake, what I like about the guy is that I remember there was a time when he gave the ball away. He tracks back. He tries to get the ball back. Tackles the player. And he deserves a lot of praise because he, he's putting his heart into the game. He wants to play. Uh, and he's just looking so good. And everyone is looking good. I can't say a bad word about any of our players at the moment. Wilshere was amazing when he came on. Uh, one thing I do need, we need to work on is shooting from outside the box, but I'm not going to dwell on that because we've got the win, big win, uh, and we look so good at the moment. Ten consecutive wins now, and that's amazing. Uh, who'd have thought that after that loss against Villa? Look where we were and look where we are now. We just look like a different team. 
We, and we've got Kazola back for the game against West Brom, and I don't know how on earth he's going to fit into that squad. Who would you replace? I mean, that's a real tough question to ask. But it's a great problem to have for the manager. I wouldn't want to be Wenger in a moment because some of the choices he's got to make are wow. But every player you seem to put in that squad seems to be playing well at the moment. You've got to think, how long is this going to go on for? Um, it would be great if it could go on for the rest of the season, but there will be times when we hit injuries. But, you know, we've gone through a big stage of injuries. Now we've still managed to produce top quality performances. So let's just hold our heads high at the moment and be proud of Arsenal at the moment because we're just playing such good football. And of course, one you know point that wasn't so great about last night's game, uh, the Napoli fans that bombarded Pybury Corner Shop. Uh, it was a cowardly act by Napoli fans, and totally unnecessary. Don't know why they did it. Um, there's a man in hospital because of it. Uh, it's total disgrace by the uh, fans, and you know it just really takes something away from the game. Um, it's a beautiful game and they're ruining it somewhat. It, it always happens at European matches. I don't know why it happens. I wish it wouldn't, but these Napoli ultras, I mean, it's just not on. It's not good enough. But like I said, I don't want to dwell on that because last night was a great result. Um, big match against West Brom on the weekend where, like I said, we've got Kazola back and we can maybe rotate a little. Um, but great win. Let's savour it. We're looking so good at the moment. Top of the Ch Champions League group. Top of the Premier League. Uh, David, my thoughts on last night's game. If you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button. Subscribe for more videos. As always, thanks for watching, guys.